guys! Welcome back to my channel, Like You Give a Fig. Today we're going to be doing a recipe video for... Wait for it... Ramen noodles! Healthy ramen noodles that you make by yourself. I've been trying to make this for years, but I've never found the right ingredients and it just hasn't worked out, but I finally perfected it. So here we go. This is everything you're going to need to make these healthy, delicious, nutritious ramen noodles, okay? Here we go. Step one, veggie broth. I like to get the low sodium or the organic kind, but I was hurting for money, so I had to get this kind. But that's okay, either way it's gonna be good. Up next, for the noodles themselves, I found this organic millet and brown rice ramen. You're just going to need two of the little blocks, two of the cakes for this recipe because I'm only making enough for myself. Then I'm going to be using some sweet peas. I like to use the frozen kind better than the canned because again, like I don't like all the sodium and everything that's in the can. But, um, you know, I, I had to make do once again because your girl doesn't have any money. We're also going to be using some carrots. I've got, just got three carrots here that I'm going to peel and chop up very, fin very finely. I'm also going to be using fresh frozen sweet corn. And then some chopped broccoli as well. This is frozen. To season my delicious, nutritious ramen, I'm going to be using granulated garlic, minced garlic as well, one bay leaf, a crap load of nutritional yeast, tons of B vitamins in here, so good, and that's it. But if you want to use something else to give it a more like signature ramen flavor, I would suggest using like a rotisserie chicken seasoning that doesn't have any animal products in it, but that you would use to season an animal product because that just gives it the flavor that you're used to with the like chicken flavored ramen. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to be using that today because I like how it tastes without it, but it's another option. So now that we've got our ingredients, let's get cooking. I'm going to get a pan, start heating it up to medium heat. Get your veggie broth. Step one, shake it out. God, I'm not grown up enough for this. Okay, dump it in. It says that there are four servings of broth in here. This is a 32 ounce container. Ooh. Splash, splash, splish, splash, I'm taking a bath. Then to thin it out, I'm just going to be adding some water. So then right away, I want you to add your frozen vegetables, any frozen ones that you might have. Frozen carrots, frozen peas, frozen broccoli, frozen corn, whatever frozen veggies that you wanna add, add them right away. I probably added about a cup of frozen broccoli. Now that I've got the broccoli in there, I'm going to add the corn. Probably about two cups of that, would you say? I think I want to add a little bit more corn. Again, it's all up to your taste, whatever you want. Also, if those noodles are a little bit expensive in your area, they definitely were in mine, about $5 for the four cakes in the package, then add more vegetables, add more broth, and you can stretch out this meal from one or two servings to three to five. Next, another thing I'm going to do right away is add my bay leaf. It definitely does help bring out the flavors in your dish. So I'm just going to take this one bay leaf and I'm going to plop it right in there. And I'm just going to let it sit while the, entire, while the recipe cooks. Now I'm going to get to cleaning and chopping these carrots. Now I'm going to take my sweet peas and I'm just going to drain out the liquid. So then I've got my beautiful little sweet peas and I've got my wonderful, my wonderful carrots and I'm going to add them to my pot. All right, sweet peas going in. Let's see, so I only added about a half of a can. Oh, I might need a bigger pot. Your girl's filling it up. I'm still gonna add a little more corn. That looks amazing. So at this time, I'm going to be adding all of my seasonings. I already added the bay leaf, so now I'm going to be adding my minced garlic. 
Again, this is all to taste. If you want a spicy bowl of soup, then you can add some chili powder or some paprika, but I just like garlic. So that's what I'm gonna do. There. Once again, that bay leaf is really going to help bring out all the flavors of the vegetables, the broth, the seasonings, nutritional yeast. Yum. So now what I'm going to do is start making the noodles. And that is a really simple process. And because they only take three minutes to cook, so I like to just have them done when everything is already simmering together and all the flavors are mixing and all the vegetables are cooked through and it's hot. That's when I like to start cooking the ramen because then everything is done at the same time. So once this water starts to boil, I'm going to be adding these two cakes of millet and brown rice ramen and I'm going to be cooking them for three minutes. Meanwhile, this one is still just going to be sitting on medium heat waiting for me. Yes. And if you don't like peas, don't add peas. If you don't like vegetables at all, don't add any. You can just use the broth and the flavors um, from the garlic and whatever other spices you want to use and that will be a delicious meal with the ramen noodles. You don't have to add all the vegetables, but I like to, once again, to keep it healthier and also to stretch it out throughout a couple of meals instead of just eating it as one meal. So it looks like our water is starting to boil. Adding cake number one, cake number two, and all the little droppings. Peace. Welcome to Brooke's Corner. And make sure to take your utensil and move around the noodles inside the pot. Otherwise they're not going to cook evenly because they're going to still be in that little cake of noodles instead of being spread around about the water. Mmm. Beautiful noodles. Ugh. So healthy, so beautiful, just delicious, amazing, incredible. These are the most amazing noodles in the world. Amazing, fantastical. Da 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 so then after you've drained your noodles, this is about how many you're going to have. It's really not very much, but it goes a long way. You're just going to add that carefully to your other mixture. Here we go, carefully adding the noodles. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, wow. So then at this time, so you don't forget, you want to take out that bay leaf. Bye bay leaf, thank you for all your hard work. Now I'm going to take a little spoon and test out my soup and make sure that it tastes really, really delicious. And if it doesn't, I will adjust accordingly. Okay. There we go. needs a little more. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Since it needs a little more of something, I'm going to add some garlic salt. That way I'm still adding salt, but I'm also going to be adding garlic at the same time and a little bit of parsley in there as well, so that I'm going to be getting more than just the salt flavor. Ooh, perfect, amazing, so good. Yes, queen. Mm. Amazing, Frick. So this, and then look how much we have left. We have over half of a, half of a, um, what is this called, pan. 
We have over half of a pan left. This is our final product. Amazing. Got to get the fork action here. Oh, queen. As you can see, this recipe made about three to six servings, depending on your age and your level of hunger. And it was not as expensive as actual ramen noodles, which are like 25 cents for a block um, and a little sodium packet. Um, so it's not as cheap. So it's not as cheap as that, but it's definitely healthier. Although it still had some sodium from the veggie broth and from the garlic salt, it was still a lot lower sodium, and I mean a lot lower sodium than typical ramen noodles. And it has more veggies, and you know exactly what's going into it. You don't need to bother with the preservatives. You can buy all organic ingredients, so you know that everything is organic, the noodles are organic, and you can just feel a lot better in here um, knowing that you're taking in better for you ingredients. I hope that you enjoyed this cook with me. I tried really hard to get some good angles and to do a good job and try to explain everything the best that I could and I hope that it turns out. I'm going to edit it together to make it seem flawless, but if it's not, bear with me. I'm dealing with a pretty janky setup. So, <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you like this style of video, if you want me to do more, what other recipes you want me to do, what other um, standard American things you want me to veganize, and I would love to do that for you. Subscribe for new videos all the time, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to go out there and live like you give a fig, and I will see you next time. I can't wait to dig into this soup once it cools off and I can hold it and bring it to my room so I can watch YouTube videos and cry into it, and I got too personal. Yeah. I can't wait to dig into this soup. I hope you guys enjoy it at home as well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!